camera for a From Jack Mashin Stadium on the campus of Grossmont High School in the city of El Cajon, this is Girls Varsity Soccer. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg K. Porter, along with Pablo Espinal. Another Grossmont Hills soccer game. Today is the National Women in Sports Day. First. Wednesday in February. So tonight we have senior night for the Grossmont Foothillers against the Bahala Norsemen. Let's get the lineup that you will not see on your screen, and that is for Bahala. They're coached by Gil Vejar, Will Vejar, also assist along with Rona St. Clair. The keeper, one of the keepers, is Abigail Escalante. Zero, Alex Davis is a keeper. Junior midfielder, number two, Ariana Rodriguez. Sophomore defender, number three, Jenna Smith. Junior defender, number four, Talion Burton. Junior forward, number five, Riley Wells. Senior defender, number six, Julie Hill is injured, will not play tonight. Sophomore midfielder, number seven, Yane Garcia. Junior defender, number eight, Madison Moran. Junior midfielder, number nine, Isabella Coronado. Sophomore defender, number 10, Kendall Scantlin. Freshman midfielder, number 11, Ava Culver. Junior midfielder, number 12, Brooke Duma. Sophomore defender, number 13, Victoria Castelli. Sophomore defender, number 14, Kate Moransky. Sophomore forward, number 16, Nicole Ayad. Freshman defender, Natalie Nybert, number 17. Freshman forward, number 18, is Alyssa Kashianan. Sophomore midfielder, number 19, is Perry Kraft. Sophomore uh, number 20, a forward, and that's Isabel Gonzalez. Junior midfielder, number 21, is Cameron Scantlin. Junior forward, number 23, is Patil Kassiavin. And senior defender, number 25, Annabella Gualczyk. That's the lineup for the Norsemen of Bahala on the road tonight, trying to avenge an earlier loss in their home field against the Foothillers. Let's get some stats around the San Diego section for you. The rankings in Division Two. Number one is Central still, 13-3-1 on the season. They're 10-0-0 in lead. Number two is Mission Bay. They're 10-2-3 on the season, 2-2-2 in lead. Bonita Vista is 14-4-3. They've won the most games in Division Two, and they are 8-1-2. And that was a relatively close game last year when the Foothillers played them over at their place. Will they see him again in the postseason? We shall see. Escondido Charters, number four. They're nine, three, and five on the season. Five, one, and one in league. Santana, who we played uh, last week, 12, six, and three on the season. Three, one, and two in their league. Horace Grossmont is six. 11, six, and two on the season. Five, one, and two in the Grossmont Hills League. Seventh is Valhalla. They're five, two, and one in league. Nine, five, and two on the season. Helix is eighth. Just got through playing them last week. They're 11-7-1 on the season, but 1-6-1 in Grossmont Hills League. We played Patrick Henry before. They're 7-4-6 on the season, but undefeated in their league. Tenth is San Diego Academy. They're 9-6-4, 5-2-2 in their league. The rest of the 10 teams is Fallbrook, 8-6-4. Westview High School, 8-6-4 at 12. 13th is Oceanside. They're 5-4-7. 14th is Olympian, 10-9-5. 
15th is Christian High, 6, 7, and 5. 16th is Fred Francis Parker, they're 9, 11, and 1. 17th is Mission Vista, they're 6, 8, and 3. 18th is University City, they're 7, 12, and 4. 19th is San Pasqual, they're 4, 10, and 6. And bringing up the 20th team in Division Two is Mount Carmel, they're 5, 12, and 2. We look at the other divisions. In Division One, Academy of Lady of Our Peace is number one. Carlsbad is number two. Number three is Cathedral Catholic. Torrey Pines is fourth, and Del Norte is fifth. In Division Three, it's Martyr Day. They are number one. San Diego is number two. Coronado is third. El Capitan is fourth. Valley Center is fifth. In Division Four, it's Mountain Empire. Those two great scores. They're first. Brawley is second. Pacific Ridge is third. Vista is fourth, and Del Lago Academy is fifth. And in Division Five is Gompers Prep Academy. They're number one. River, River Valley is number two. Kearney is number three. Hoover is number four. And West Shores is number five. The Foothillers trying to defend their senior night 2019. Hopefully your day has been a good one wherever you are in the world. If you're watching these games overseas, let us know. We like that interaction. I know it's uh, extremely cold still up in the uh, northern part of the country. Found out earlier today up in Michigan, it was in the minus 30 degrees. Back to some of the same type of stuff that they had last week. Call it global warming or whatever you want to call it. But uh, this is a real rough winter in a lot of parts of the country. It's a kind of chilly night here in El Cajon. Bala, Bahala High School, they had some chances in the last match and just did not convert them in the first half and found themselves falling behind in the second and lost it 3-0. Foothillers had to play three consecutive games on the road last week, and he found themselves on the better side of it all. Only a tie was a blemish out of winning two out of the three games. And that tie was against Helix when they fell behind in the first few minutes of the match, but clawed back into the match. That's the kind of mindset that they have to have as they will be a playoff team and will have to be tough throughout if they want to get the crown, put that patch, get the hardware for the school. Came close last season in the semifinal and lost right here to Rancho Bernardo. About ready to get set here at Jack Mashon Stadium on the border of El Cajon and La Mesa. La Mesa on the west side of El Cajon here. Down the street, shift colors for all you sailors out there past and present, we're underway. Amy Cervantes and her pass is just in front of Aguileta. Taylor a little bit nicked up in the last game but able to get out there and play tonight. In this part of the season, a lot of teams are nicked up, have players that they would like to have out there on the pitch. The Foothillers getting pretty healthy at this point. Early ball down the left flank, Carly Kennedy trying to chase it down. Get to it, it's sent out of play. And it'll be a throw in for the Norsemen. Out of their defensive third, Foothillers. As you've noticed by now, going from right to left and in the white jerseys, as it is this season, is the road team, Bahala High. 50 50 ball, and it's going to be a foul. And it's going to work against the Norsemen. So the first foul of the match, Victoria Ford will take the free kick.
Ford chips it into the central, up into the air, trying to get somebody to strike it. And they still have possession, the Foothillers now, in the area, trying to get another strike onto it, and it goes awry. But it's going to be a corner. It was lastly touched by the Norsemen. The Norsemen able to beat the Foothillers last year. Of course, last year was last year right here at Jang Mashin Stadium. But the Foothiller is able to play very, very well on the road and beat this year's edition of the Norseman over in Bahala Campus. First corner kick of the match for the Foothillers, Grossman. Grass cutter and deflected and he'll get another one. See what Cardi Kennedy decides to do with it this time. No, she's going to give way this time. Jennifer Giovingo was able to get some playing time in the last game coming back from injury. Giovingo straight up in the air trying to get somebody to hit it. Not able to do so, but Sarah Lopez tracks it down. Lopez, the number two scorer as a freshman in the entire county of San Diego not able to get onto the soccer ball. Sarah is also the number 12 scorer in the county as well. And she's trying to track it down. Heads it, the Norseman, and then Giovingo gets a strike and sends it wide. So they get their first shot of the match. Hopefully you got your beverage, your snack, out here on the West Coast. It's dinner time, so maybe full meal. Sit back and enjoy this one. Keep her change now. Jersey change, that is. Surely requested by the tandem referees tonight. In the last game at Granite Hills, he had three refs like you normally see in a premier game and most of the time in the postseason. San Diego County. Throw in for the Norseman. Ball sent out of play by Riley Wells. Manny Mayo to throw it in. Lopez puts it in some space, but nobody's there. Upfield now, Gonzalez trying to win it, can't do it. Mia Foster sends a pass into the central now. Angarola is trying to get it over to Lopez, she went down. Foster goes after it, nicely done, good hustle play. Mia Foster, just a stalwart player there for the Foothillers in the central, or wherever she's out there on the pitch. Missed her in the rest of that Santana game, but uh, her teammates were able to come out with a victory in that match. Near side, Kennedy taps it over to Lopez, as they are working better and better with each other now. Sarah Lopez gets it over to Kennedy. Back up field now. Angarola now takes a shot in the suit. Two shots now for the Foothill. Scanlon couldn't get that one. It is central for the Norseman. Victoria Ford, good first touch now. Ford to the near side to Manny Mayo. Mayo on the run. Mayo into the central, into the area. Mayo still going after it, and it is intercepted and sent out of play. Nice play that time by Talon Burton. The junior. So it's a throw in now for the Foothillers. Am 
might have a injury on the near side. As it looks like Burton a little injured and she will get replaced. Maybe step wrong or what have you on that play. Hopefully it's not too bad and she'll have a chance to come back into the match. Obviously integral in what they try to do in the back line. Maddie Mayo gets it to Lopez now. But she couldn't bring it down. Just a freshman. I mentioned the entire season. And also Bree Cooney, a freshman as well. That ball is out of play. Bree is not in the match right now, but has played very, very well this season. Into the match now is Perry Kraft, sophomore. <laughs> Hopefully you can bear with me. Kind of a little bit under the weather. Try to keep that away from me as best I can. Up in the air, knocked away by Ashlyn Dean. And that one troublesome, but Dean was able to get up and get it over the crossbar after the Norsemen have now completed their first shot of the match. And they had a good one right on target. So both teams have a shot on target now. On this senior night 2019, for the Foothillers of Grossmont. First corner kick. Bahala knocked away by Dean, who have had a fabulous game against Granite Hills. Saved two Pete penalty kicks, if you didn't see that game. Of course, you see all of our matches. All you got to do is subscribe. Just put the capital letters GK Sports in the YouTube search, and you'll find us. In the central, this is Danger and the goal! One nil. They're able to beat the back line, find a seam, and put it in the back of the net. And the Norsemen get their first goal against the Foothillers this season. Riley Wills putting it in the back of the net. At the 11th minute of the match. Here come the Foothillers now, trying to get an equalizer, and this one is behind frame. So Valhalla leading now, 1-0. They had a lot of chances in the other match at home against the Foothillers in that first half. They ended up the entire game with like eight offsides and really took away what they wanted to try to do towards putting balls in the back of the net. This one is right on line, but a little bit off. And it will be just an errant shot. Third shot of the match now for Grossmont. This is the second time in last three games that including this one that the Foothillers have given up a goal within the first 10 to 15 minutes of the match gave up an early goal quick goal against the Helix Highlanders last week but able to come back and get the draw out of that series of games on the road, all three of them in a row. Started off at uh, Santana High School, and then it was at Helix High School, and then at Granite Hill. Throw in now for the Foothillers. Gonna be a substitution. Alexa Gonzalez is gonna come into the match. 
for Taylor Agaletta. Amy Cervantes is going to throw it in. Junior's pass is intercepted. Her throw in is intercepted. Gonzalez taps it back to Cervantes. Cross midfield. Lopez trying to steal it. Wasn't able to do it that time. Trying to pickpocket Walchick. Into the central. Bahala. Maddie Mayo still on the soccer ball. Slows it down and then gives it away. Foster and 50-50 ball and it'll be a throw in now. For Valhalla, Perry Kraft. Actually now it's gonna be Kate Baranski to throw it in. Intercepted. And a throw in for the Foothillers. Mia Foster on an early ball for Lopez, but she had to try to cut it in uh, to the outside, not able to get to it. Here's Kraft now, drops it back. The orange and white. Norseman into the central. Angrola left it there for Foster, and now. Here's Sminji on the run. Sminji, and she can't continue on. I believe she weaved her way and scored against the Norsemen the last time they played each other. Kind of surprised them. If it wasn't in that game, I know she's done that this season. Maddie Mayo. Cervantes. Not able to link up with Angarola. So the Norseman going to take one from distance. And that one is going to be a goal kick. On a chilly night at Jack Mashin Stadium in El Cajon. Norseman coming in here 9-5-2 on the season. Rosemont coming in 11-6-2. Grossmont 5-1-2 in the Grossmont Hills League, and Bahala is 5-2-1. Secure it there was Jenna Smith, and she does get it over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez now still on the soccer ball. They try to take it from her, but she still has it. Good job by Rodriguez now. Comes into the attacking third now. Sends it out to the left now. And this one goes over to Dean, and Dean makes a save. Mahala with her third shot, second on target. Sarah Lopez now. Takes it to the outside and it hits it hard and just missed it. She had the right idea, but just missed it that time. Fourth shot for the Foothillers. In his one nil affair, Bahala on the road, leading here in the first half. Greg K. Porter along with Pablo Espinal, enjoying you, the sights and sounds. He's bringing you the live stream. Continue to see different things on the live stream. Grossmont Hills League. And we'll continue to add different features to our live stream. Into the central now. Lopez wasn't able to get it. Here's Gardner Kennedy now. This is danger. Kennedy's shot is blocked. Mia Foster takes a hard one. It's blocked again. Nicely done by the Norseman. Maddie Mayo sends it back up field now for Victoria Ford. Want to get a little shape now. Ford intercepts it into space. 
Foster, the male, but it was already out of play. Going to be a substitution now coming in for Bahala. And it's coming out of the match is Perry Kraft. Isabel Gonzalez into the match for the Norsemen. Enjoying the 1 0 lead here in the first half. Jack Mashin Stadium in El Cajon, the eastern part of the city of San Diego. Now, coming into the match is Bree Cooney, number 16 in blue. As Amy Cervantes is going to get a rest. Manny Mayo up toward the attacking third. Foster runs onto it. Mia now. Sends it out to Bree Cooney now. The freshman now. Try to set things up, gets it to Foster. Pass back over to Giovingo. And then out of Foster from distance. And this one is off to the right of the keeper. Fifth shot for Grossman in the match. Trying to get it out of the attacking third. Not able to do so, so the foothillers now will have Sarah Lopez run onto it. Sarah cuts it inside now. Just missed her teammate, Gonzalez. Ford, and it is out of play. No foul called on the play as Ford went knifing in to try to get to the soccer ball. The physical player, Victoria Ford. Harley Kennedy, Mia Foster now. Foster up forward to Giovingo. And they get it over to uh, Angarola. But it was given away and back the other way. Riley Wells looked for an angle there and finds it up forward, but uh, it was intercepted by Smenji. Lopez, it was taken off her cleat, but it goes over to Foster. And it will be out of play. It'll be a throw in. Out of the deep third for Bahala. Hanging out in El Cajon. But more towards the east from here. Into the match is uh, Ava Culver. She's number 11 in white out there. Cardi Kennedy is going to give way to Maddie Mayo to throw it in. Just inside, 20 minutes left to play in the first half. Hopefully you're enjoying the match. Girls varsity soccer from the San Diego section of the California Interscholastic Federation, otherwise known as CIF. Mia Foster. Bins one, but it's... Too high over frame. Gia Bingo was trying to keep it in was uh, Kennedy, wasn't able to do so. So the throw in by Kate Baranski, but it's intercepted. Nicely done by uh, Ford. However, the Norsemen, they get the soccer ball back. Riley Wells finds her teammate, and that's uh, Gonzalez. And then it's out of play. So the Foothillers will get it going as not able to link up. Norsemen on their right flank. Maddie Mayo from the defensive third. The Foster, good first touch. Gets it to uh, Mayo. Her pass 
sails out of play. Good defensive play in the space there by Culver. Kennedy, and it's touched out by Baranski. So a throw in for the Foothillers, gaining some more real estate down the left flank. Giavigo not able to contain it, and so the Norsemen, they have possession. And now here's Giavigo running onto it. Giavigo looking for Lopez, and is goes whizzes by her and not able to keep it in was Kennedy. So it's a goal kick for Bahala. Bahala played in the open division playoffs last season. It will not see the Foothillers this season in the postseason. So this is the last match between these two teams for the 2018-2019 campaign. May not as a, we played Helix, at Helix. May not be the last one between those two teams. Same way with Olympian. Played them before, may see him again. Sminji dropping back at midfield. Norseman, a couple of good touches. On to it now is Culver. Goes out wide. Pass intercepted by Ford. Sminji puts it in some space, but it's intercepted. Matty Mayo drives it upfield, but it's intercepted. Nicely done in the back there by uh, Walchick. in on a play and it is off of Alexa Gonzalez. So with just about 16 left to play in the first half, Mahalo will throw it in. Trying to get in the attacking third but first they have a substitution. Patil Cassiabin is into the match. He's number 23 out there. Giovingo missing the soccer ball. Here's Cassiabin. Send it forward and nearly getting it that time was Rodriguez. Woodhiller is able to secure it and they send it down the right flank. Harley Kennedy won't get to it. Upfield. Cooney wins it. Nicely done. Good first touch that time by uh, Giovingo. Foster, but she gave it away to Jenna Smith. Bree Cooney on the intercept. And it's out of play. 1-0 Mahala on the goal in the 11th minute by Riley Wells. Out of their defensive third, the Norsemen throw it in. Intercepted by Sminji. Gets a return pass now. Kira Sminji now trying to dart to the, the central. And there's going to be a foul on Kira. And Kira will get a warning as well. No yellow card. So the free kick for Valhalla. The first foul of the match by the Foothillers. Sminji now looking for Lopez, but that's going to have too much pace on it. In the deep back, Valhalla now. Into space, intercepted by Cooney. Her pass is intercepted, but gets it back again. Giovingo tries to get up high to get to it, goes after it. Mayo 
Nearly would have got to Lopez that time and a good block that time by Jenna Smith. She doesn't make that play, it gets over to Lopez. Mia Foster now, a little more real estate. Let's go back upfield. Maddie Mayo now and sends it off of Baranski. Cutting it back is Gonzalez. But now, here's Victoria Ford. Ford weaving her way now. Stops the soccer ball. And in goes with it. Over to Bree Cooney. Cooney's pass. Off the center defender. The near side now to Gonzalez. On an early ball. Coming way off her line. Is the senior on senior night. Ashley Dean. Playing in her last game here at Jack Mashon Stadium during the regular season, that is. It'll be a postseason. Carly Kennedy sends an early ball. Marissa Angarola trying to track it down, but it had too much pace on it. Nevertheless, that's the seventh shot for the Foothillers. Foul on the play, and it'll be a free kick. Losing her shoe, Victoria Ford on that play. Second free kick for the Norsemen. With 11 and a half left to play in the first half. Still holding on to the slim 1-0 lead. But they did not score a goal the last time. Foothillers played them. They got one tonight. On the road. Walchick. Annabella is off the Grosse Swamp player, and it'll be a throw in. Far side touchline. Some substitutions are going to occur. season according to Max Preps. Beautiful shot and into the back of the net. This goal at the 31st minute of the match. So the Foothillers getting the equalizer. Victoria Ford is getting looked at. <laughs> Free kick now. Swan. Bree Cooney now sends the early ball. Looking for Lopez. She didn't get it. Angarola's pass is intercepted. And so on a counterattack. Bahala now. Off of a bounce. And Dean will make the save. Fourth shot for Bahala, the third on target. In this 1-1 match, Carly Kennedy now likes the deep players and a nutmeg that time. And Foothillers trying to continue in the attacking third with Foster. Cooney.
And that ball is out of play. It'll be a throw in for the Foothillers in the attacking third. With just about eight minutes left to play in the first half. Hopefully you're enjoying this match wherever you are. Don't forget our one-stop shop. All you got to do is just go to our website. That's mrgksports.webs.com. You get those uh, Max Preps updates every day of what's going on, the schedules, as well as sports from around the world in the six-yard box, but the save is made. Quiddler is getting another shot. Alexa Gonzalez running onto it, turns and gives it to Cooney. Up forward to Angarola, but not able to link back up. Bree intercepted by Foster for the moment, but Norseman able to win it back. Matty Mayo retreating back as that ball is out of play. Isabella Gonzalez throws it in. Victoria Ford hits it off of Gonzalez. Norseman still have possession with Jenna Smith. Gets it over to her left to Scantling. Back to Smith. Want to keep the possession of the soccer ball, keep their passing game going. Walchick intercepted. Lopez will not get to this one. It will go out of play. So out of the defensive third, it will be a throw in for Valhalla. Inside six and a half left to play. Get a chance to see uh, probably some faculty members getting their run in. Beautiful track here at Jack Mashin Stadium. Brand new. That's why a lot of the games have been on the road for the Foothillers, if you've been paying attention. Victoria Ford now winning it in the attacking third. Takes a long distance shot. Center defender intercepts. Back up field for Bahala. He sent an early ball now. Sminji gets to it. Gonzalez out to Bree Cooney. Aaron touched that time and out of play. So it's a giveaway. And it'll be a throw in now for Bahala. They're going to get some fresh players into the match. You get number nine, and that's Isabel Coronado. And uh, Riley Wells, the goal scorer. She's number five out there. Foothillers got a fresh player into the match as well. Into the central. Sarah Lopez, she is offside by just a little bit. That was a problem for Mahala, as I mentioned at the outset. First offside of the match for Grossmont. Yeah, Sarah Lopez, really good at marking up. Don't find her being offsides. Just kind of understands that. It's an ODP player coming into high school. First year. Jennifer Giovingo. Maybe too much for Kennedy as she's going to try to get to it. And it's in the corner. And it's won by the Norseman. They come out with it. To the central. It's intercepted and sent out of play. It actually wasn't intercepted. It was a pass, but that pass didn't link up. So, nevertheless, it, it's a turnover, and the Foothillers have the football, as they call it in most countries. The one with the geometric designs of the world's most famous sport. We call it soccer over here. Multiple players trying to buy for it. Now running onto it is Gia Bingo. Jennifer now. And it's tripped up. 
No call. Mia Foster says, I'm coming to a space and I'm going to get the soccer ball. Turns, goes right up to central, but it's intercepted. Here's uh, Coronado. Out to the left flank. Ricuni is able to strike it forward, but they're going to get it back again. Nice job done that time by Ford as her balance was going one way. Now on the right flank, will it be kept in? It's going to be off of the foothillers. So the Norseman will throw it in. Gonzalez is going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for Riley Wells, the junior, to throw it in. Wells now in the 18. Into the central now. One by Carly Kennedy, and they can gain a little bit more shape, but still, Bahala on the attack. Put in some space, and Sminji on the intercept. Inside, two minutes left to play in the first half in a 1-1 draw here at Jack Mastin Stadium in El Cajon. Lopez, a shot and a save. She had the 21 goals on the season, and getting to it is the keeper. Leading scorer on the team. Victoria Ford. <coughs> Ash and Dean. In the central, the Norsemen trying to go forward, but uh, they're going to give it up as the Foothillers will throw it in. Like there's going to be a substitution for both teams. Take that back just for Grossmont. <laughs> to the Pion into the match. Moransky gets it over to Rodriguez. Smenji on the intercept. Cervantes. And back into the match now. Smidgey went off of uh, Lopez's cleat. Just couldn't quite secure it that time. Up forward. It's out of play, and the Foothillers will throw it in. Trying to see if they can put one in the back of the net, but neither team will. Is That's the end of the first half, and they'll end up in a draw out of the first 40 minutes of action at Jack Mashon Stadium in El Cajon. We hope you enjoyed that first 40 minutes of action. Stick with us. In about 15 minutes, we'll come back on the live stream. And if you're watching the digital second copy, which has usually all the good highlights and all that kind of stuff, we're going to that right now. Ford chips it into the central, up into the air, trying to get somebody to strike it. And they still have possession, the Foothillers now, in the area, trying to get another strike onto it, and it goes around into the central, into the area. Mail still going after it, and it is intercepted. The near side, as it looks like Burton, a little injured, and she will get replaced. Bear with me, kind of a little bit under the weather. Try to keep that away from me as best I can. Up in the air, knocked away by Ashlyn De Lopez. Gets it over to Kennedy. Back up field now. Angarola now takes a shot in the suit. In the central, this is danger and a goal. 
Sarah Lopez now takes it to the outside and it hits it hard and just missed it. She had. Stadium in El Cajon. Lopez, a shot and a save. She had the 21 goals on the season and getting to it is a keeper of 10 shots. Five were on target. Two free kicks, two corner kicks, one foul, one offsides, and a total of two saves by Ashlyn Dean, the senior, on senior night. Will Jamie Ganello, the other senior, come out and be the keeper in the second half, or will Ashton Dean go the whole way? She did it in the last game against Granite Hill, saved two great penalty kicks, and that was really the difference in the match. If you didn't catch us at the beginning of the match, mention the uh, rankings. Top five are central, 13, three and one. Mission Bay's number two, 10, two and three. 14, four and three, Benina Vista, nine, three and five. Escondido Charter in fifth is Santana. Grossman is sixth, and Bahala is seventh. Look at uh, the scores, which I did not mention in the first half. The top. 10 scores are Veronica Rodriguez, 103 points. You get two for every goal and you get one for an assist. The juniors got 42 goals. Aaron Healy of Academy of Lady of Our Peace, 75 points, 35 goals as a senior. Number three is Christelle Silva from Brawley, 73 points, 31 goals as a senior. Celeste Galban is fourth from Del Lago Academy. She's got 36 goals. She's that freshman that I mentioned. Number one freshman scorer in the county. Lexi Wright is number five from Carlsbad. She's got 65 points, 28 goals a sophomore. Sixth is Mara Hyde from San Diego High. 57 points, 26 goals on the season, the junior. Seventh is Alyssa Lalonde from Mountain Empire, 57 points, 14 goals, the junior. Eighth is Chloe Rupp from Mar Maranatha Christian. She's got 54 points with 24 goals, the sophomore. Uh, Ariana Vidal from Christian High. She has a total of 48 points, 23 uh, goals as a sophomore. And of course, I mentioned uh, Sarah Lopez is 10th. She's got now 21 goals as a freshman, 43 total points. And 10th to finish it up in the top 10 was Melissa Dalith Palacios of Central High out in the eastern, way eastern part of the county. Out by El Central. And that's 47 points with 20 goals. The Foothillers will be going left to right on your video screen and right to left is the Norseman in this draw tonight on Senior Night 2019. I'm Greg K. Porter for GK Sports along with Pablo Espinal bringing you the sights and sounds and the live stream. Shift colors for all you sailors out there past and present. We're underway in the second half. The Norseman sent it out of play and out of their own defensive half will be the Foothillers throwing it in. Coaches like to make adjustments in the second half. Let's see if the adjustments for either team will be effective to get them a victory, or will it remain a draw? Norseman on the intercept. And out there now for the first time this season is Astrid Peterson, the sophomore. She's in the orange cleats for the Foothillers. I did not know that she was healthy enough to get out and play before this season ends, and she is. She's from Denmark. Undoubtedly, as you can see, one of the tallest 
young ladies out there who hasn't played the entire season. Jenna Smith, chip towards the central. Bree Cooney gets to the soccer ball. Sends it over the head of Kowalczyk. It's troublesome. Lopez now looking for Gonello, who is out here to start off the second half and not able to get to it, but it is a shot. First one in the second half for either team. Goes to the Foothillers. And it's on target as well. Gonzalez. Marie Cooney. Peterson. On the near side, it goes out of play. Castelli throws it in. And Castelli could not keep it going out of play. Marie Cooney now will throw it in. Got to be a kind of a treat for the two seniors on senior night. You see Peterson, who's been on the sidelines the whole season, number 19 out there in blue, finally getting an opportunity. He's healthy enough to play. And from what I heard from Fernando Ramos, the head coach of the Foothillers, that they may only be able to utilize their services just this rest of the season, which is only one more game against Steel Canyon on Friday and then into the postseason. Because she might not be able to, to be involved in the high school sports next season in this country, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be different. Here come the Norsemen on the shot, and it is just wide a friend. Now they get their first shot in the second half in this 1-1 draw. Ganello and Ashlyn Dean, the keeper dr driving that ball upfield, are the only two seniors on his foothiller team. Well, obviously, Playing on the pitch together. Not something you've seen too often for the Foothillers, but on senior night, very special for both of them. Into the central. The Foothillers have had such a good season that they will be in the postseason, so they're going to get to play more soccer after this week. Try to win a CIF title which eluded them last season in, as juniors. Just needed two victories and they would have got it. Castelli's gonna throw it in. Norseman trying to work out of their own defensive third. And a foul, and it'll be a free kick for the Foothillers. Victoria Ford will take the free kick. Chips one into the central of the players that were in that 18, but not able to get anybody to control it. Now in the same space, but finally Kennedy gets it over to Mia Foster now. Foster just gets it taken away from her at the last moment. Big play that time in the central for the Norsemen.
Maddie Mayo will throw it in. Peterson comes out. She got her first minutes of the season in. Marissa Angarola in for the Foothillers, number 10. Scanlon and then from the back in the central. Ball put down on the pitch. And no problem for Dean making the save. Foothillers will throw it in from the far side touchline with 33, just a little bit over 33 minutes left to go in the match. Mia Foster to Maddie Mayo, 50-50 ball. Mayo wins it, sends it whizzing by Sarah Lopez. Upfield and it's out of play, but the Foothillers will throw it in as it's off of Bahala. You want to watch all of our digital content, all you got to do is put the letters GK Sports in the YouTube search. It's as simple as that. The throw in. It's knocked out of play. Mayo will throw it in again. Try to get it to Ganello but it's knocked out by the Norseman. Victoria Ford will do the honors this time around. The line drive knocked up into the air. Foster tried to get it, heads it forward into some space. Can't get to it. Upfield, the Norseman. Ford, stab at it, gets it. Over to Foster, now Angarola now in the central. Marissa Angarola now. Tried to get it over to Ganello, it didn't get there. Here's Foster now after the pass from Giovingo. Giovingo gets a return. Over to Angarola, to the near side. Kennedy lets it go over to Bree Cooney now. On a service back towards Kennedy. But Carly can't get to the soccer ball. Now here's Kira Sminji running it up from the back now. This is danger for the uh, Norseman now. As Carly Kennedy now. Kira Sminji who's a good passer. And she's shielded off from the soccer ball. A nutmeg now. Kennedy in the box now. Still on the soccer ball. A hit. A, a strike. And it's intercepted that time. But they get another strike. And this one is going to go past the byline. Good work, though, by Kira Sminji on the right flank to keep the ball alive and then get a strike towards the central. They just couldn't get another one, a second ball, and try to put it in the back of the net. Substitution, Perry Kraft into the match for the Norseman. I mentioned in the beginning of the match that Julie Hill, the senior defender, not able to play tonight as she is injured. Bree Cooney will throw it in for Grossmont. Knotted up in a level match at one. Ganello trying to get to the soccer ball and wins it. Couldn't get another strike on it. Rodriguez, her pass given away to Mia Foster now. Foster can hit it from distance. Foster still on the soccer ball and drives it and just a little bit off that time. <laughs> Nevertheless, for the Foothillers, that's their 13th shot. Escalante is going to drive it forward. Intercepted, or actually she got it to Perry Kraft. Early ball now, and Deke comes off her line, doesn't know where it's at now, has to race back, and a shot at Deke gets back there and makes the save. Quickly, Culver got to the soccer ball and drove it towards the net. But Ashley Dean turned around and raced back and was able to get to it. Had a 
That's the fourth save of the match for Ashlyn Dean. And that ball is out of play on the near side. The Foothillers are going to get to throw it in. Just inside, 29 minutes left to play in a match. Very entertaining match here in El Cajon, the eastern part of San Diego. Jack Mashin Stadium, the campus of Grossmont High. These two teams playing in the second time this season, second and final time this season. There'll be no postseason. If you just checked in with us, there are two different divisions this season. After the foul, it'll be a free kick for Grossmont. It'll be their fourth of the match. Fourth foul. Treating back to get it is uh, Kowalczyk. Down the right flank. And it's sent out of play after the heel pass. <laughs> Jennifer Giovingo is going to come out. Remember, she is still trying to Get totally healthy. Gonzalez. The end of the match. Mahala. Rodriguez. Sent out of play. Foothillers are going to throw it in at a midfield area. Victoria Ford will throw it in. Off of a bounce. Jamie Ganello going after it. Trying to get to it. Can't get to it, but it, she put the pressure on the right side defense and they send it out of play. So the Foothillers will have it in the attacking third. In this 1-1 one, one match. Riley Well scored in the 11th minute of the match. Remember, they play 80 in total. Sarah Lopez scored in the 31st minute. Mia Foster winning it now in the 18 now to the central uh, strike and trying to get another one was Ganello. She just missed it that time. So upfield, the Norseman, Sminji. She tried to give it to Gonzalez now, and Maddie Mayo has to go after it. So does Ashley Dean, but uh, Kira Smidgey's one going to get to it. Corks Drew's over. Brie Cooney upfield now. Angarola was shielded away from it. Gonzalez has it. Goes off to her left to Maddie Mayo on the over offering run and it goes out of play. Baranski doing a fine job of knocking it out of play. Mia Foster now on the move into central. Mia Foster still on a soccer ball now. Gets into the outside of the 18 and allows the defender to knock it out of play and it'll be a good throw in for the Foothillers. Don't know if Bree Cooney will throw it in or will Victoria Ford throw it in. There's going to be a substitution for Grossmont. And Jamie Ganello is gonna come out. And coming in is Manzorat. Herrera for the first time in a match. Senior getting a chance to get out there on the pitch tonight. The backup keeper, Jamie Ganillo. Victoria Ford with the throw in. The line drive, the header by Foster and just missed. Really good at those uh, headers with that soccer ball. Trying to get it into the back of the net. Touched out though by the Norseman. So another corner kicking try for Grossman. Be the second one of the second half, the fourth of the match. 
Carly Kennedy gets herself prepared again. How will she do the set piece? Will it be straight on or will it be an outswinger? It's an outswinger now. It's intercepted. Perry Kraft, her pass is intercepted up forward. However, they're able to get it back with Riley Wells now. The other side of the field, Victoria Ford trying to chase it down. She gets over there and then sends it out of play after the bump with Ariana Rodriguez. Both of them showing their foot speed. About 23 minutes left to play in the match. 1-1, the Norsemen and the Foothillers basically right at each other in the Grossmont Hill standings. Sent forward to Harley Kennedy. She plays it over to Sarah Lopez. Lopez drops it back to Marissa Angarola, the JV head coach's daughter. Over to Kira Sminji. Sminji now sends that ball out of play on a synthetic turf. Cold evening. Nothing like in other parts of the country. We hope it uh, gets warmer for you and some of those conditions get a lot better moving forward here in the month of February. You know, January ended very brutally a lot of places in the country. And a miscue, Sminchy now, and it's a, and it is going to be a free kick. So it's going to be a free kick now for Bahala, just outside the 18. The knees are always troublesome. First free kick for Bahala in the second half. First foul for Grossmont. It is 1 1 tie. Campus of Grossmont High. Norseman on the road. A line drive goes up into the air and it'll go past the goal line. They'll get another one. <coughs> and when I say another one, they'll get a set piece, which is a corner kick. Foothillers, Kira Sminji on the soccer ball now. Kira going up the field, showing her speed. Kira Sminji now loses her balance. Getting up slowly now and trying to come back to get it, but they were off sides on the play. That was the thing that bothered Mahala in the last match between these two teams. That's their first one, though, of the match. Victoria Ford intercepts it and then drives it forward looking for Lopez. It didn't get to her and it is knocked up into the air. Foster trying to get to it and it is knocked out of play. And there'll be a substitution coming up for Bahala. In this 1 1 match on senior night, just inside 20 minutes left to play in the match. We're going 
going to be another ball to be used. Bahala at midfield with the throw in. Up in the air and it goes out of play. It'll be a throw in now for the Foothillers. But first a substitution is going to occur as Jennifer Giovingo comes back into the match as Herrera comes out. Used a lot more in tonight's match than she was in the Granite Hills match which was on Friday. Mia Foster off the collision. Maddie Mayo in his space. Ford gets it over to Mayo. Nice play, but then she loses the handle on it. And they'll have to go back and play defense now. The chip and Dean punches it away. Nicely done by Ashley D. However, the Norseman now just outside the 18. And they were off sun. On a free kick, goes off of Carly Kennedy towards the central. Mia Foster trying to chase it down, but Rodriguez has it first. Walchick intercepted by Ford. Up forward, and Ford is able to send it across midfield. Foster. Bahala now, down the right flank. Victoria Ford gets it over to Maddie Mayo. Angarilla with the soccer ball. Puts it in some space looking for Gia Bingo, but she doesn't get to it. Instead, here's uh, Kendall Scantlett. Her pass broken up by Sminji, and it'll be a throw in for the Norseman in the attacking third. As Perry Kraft retrieves it. And Coach Gil Vejar getting a fresh player into the match. All knotted up with Fernando Ramos, Grossmont, Foothillers at one here in the second half. We move later and later. 15 and a half left to play into the match. Alexa Gonzalez onto the soccer ball. Over to Foster. Gets it over to Angarola, who chips it forward. Giovingo, nice move. Goes one way and then decides to go the other way. Gets a push still onto the soccer ball. Her pass was intercepted, and it's upfield, and they'll be able to have a throw in. So Brie Cooney will throw it in for the Foothillers. The new uniforms this year. In blue, the home jerseys. Here's Sarah Lopez. It goes off her teammate, Gonzalez. She can't get it back, but Gonzalez steals it. and gives it over to Angarola now. Turns. Looks for Gia Bingo, but she wasn't there. Escalante drives it up the central. Ford stops the progress. Gets it over to Gonzalez. Up forward towards, that was uh, Cervantes, I believe. Direction. That was actually Angarola who had rotated over. Here's Jennifer Giovingo. Giovingo now on the soccer ball. Giovingo now. Just outside the area. Still on the soccer ball. 
turns now, and you never want that to happen as a defender. Pass, but it was already past the byline. Escalante. Kennedy intercepted it. Goes over to Cooney, who drives it to the central. Angarola now for Lopez in the central, sends a shot, she'll retrieve it, and put it on the back of the net, a goal! You see why she's up there in the scoring in the county. Getting that one at the 28th minute. Attached to 40, the 68th minute of the match. On just a beautiful individual play by Lopez, getting her second goal of the night. And now she's up for what they call in hockey, the hat trick. That's when you get three and they throw hats onto the ice. The Foothillers who were able to beat the Norsemen in El Cajon's Mahala Norseman campus, able to do it 3-0, find themselves in a different sort of match tonight. But they're able to come from behind and take the lead at 2-1 now, with just about 12 minutes left to go in the match. Every time it goes out now, it starts to work against the Norsemen. They want it to stay on the pitch where they can do something with it. Corner kick now for Grossmont. Out swinger trying to get a second ball. Angarola gets after it. Let's take it away though. As they try to go upfield, Matty Mayo tried to keep it going in the same direction, 50-50 ball. Gonzalez now, and it's going to be a foul and a free kick. One of the things that you've noticed if you've been following the Foothillers and our live streams and otherwise, they have a component that is physical out there on the pitch. And this year showing another side of themselves that is very technical, creating problems for teams throughout the course of the match. Of course, it's come back at them as well. But they won their bulk of their matches in 2018, 2019. Started off the season 4-0 but then ran into four straight games where they just couldn't find the handle of the wins and lost four in a row. But ever since that time, they've just been a very good soccer club and Escalante makes a save. Stolen away, Foster just drives it. He didn't go inside the goal post though. <laughs> Well, the goal post will be used at uh, SDCCU Stadium coming up in two weeks. The new team of the Alliance Football League, otherwise known as the San Diego Fleet, will get going. They got a road game this coming weekend in San Antonio. San Diego has not had another type of professional football team ever. And there's been many other professional leagues of football, but finally they have one since they lost their NFL team. They have the former head coach of the St. Louis Rams who won a Super Bowl with a Mike Marks. This could be troublesome now. Dean has to come off her line. She does and gets to the soccer ball first. 
played an outstanding game against Granadilles, as I mentioned in the first half. This is another mark of the kinds of stuff she's doing late in the season. You want to be at your best, especially if you can get into the postseason. And when you do, you want to be at your very best. Here's Lopez, the dangerous one, takes a shot, and Escalante is able to make the save. Sarah on her bid for a third goal in this match. Sarah averaging two and a half points a game during the season. Only got a, less than a handful of uh, assists. 22 goals and the big difference. Throw in for the Norsemen. Inside eight minutes left to play in a match. Foilers after a rebound and just able to grab it is Dean. Pretty good hop that time, but Dean able to reel it in. Ford intercepts it. Foothillers used to close matches. They've had quite a few of them since those, that streak of four wins and then the four losses. A lot of their matches have been decided by a goal or two. Trying to get the victory tonight on senior night. The Norseman trying to interrupt that. And come out with a draw if they can. And Giovingo is knocked down. And it'll be a yellow card for Cameron Scantlin, the junior. So the first yellow card of the match for either team. Substitution obviously has to occur anytime you get a yellow card. Fifth foul in the match for Bahala. Victoria Costelli came into the match on that substitution. The header back the wrong direction for the Foothillers with the right direction for Bahala. And now they're going to get a throw in in the attacking third. Coming on five and a half left to play in a match. Riley Wells will throw it in for the visitors. She scored the goal in the first half. Did it in the 11th minute to give him the lead. Costelli now intercepts it. Winning it is Sminji. Kennedy now going after the soccer ball. Kennedy still on it. And it is still in play now. Bree Cooney. And let's see. As the player for Bahala down and that's uh, Ava Culver she was trying to get to the soccer ball a little bit more time added onto this match at four it's about four and a half this is count down here Sarah Lopez being a freshman, trying to give her two senior teammates a victory on senior night in their last home game of the regular season. That's Jamie Ganillo, backup keeper, and Ashlyn Dean, the starting keeper. A lot of times this season, they have shared the duties.
So Colbert, walk off slowly, got a bag of ice for her and may not come back in this match. Time left, hit that synthetic turf and it, it's unforgiving when it's cold like this tonight. Carly Kennedy is going to take the free kick. They'll probably add a couple of more minutes onto the time. As they have it. The two tandem refs. The official time. And most of the parents and uh, student body are aware of that. Scantlet, an early ball. Ford and Dean, and now Dean gets it. Midfield, good header placed in the space. Bahala. Minji retreats back to get to the soccer ball and just chips it up forward, keeps it in, nicely done. Chivingo now trying to get to it and it is out of play. Jennifer is still trying to get better and she kind of went awkward that time. In the central, Foster can't get to it but uh, the shot is not a hard one for Dean to handle. Ball out of play. And it's 2-1 match. Hey, stop the clock. Ryan, stop the clock. It stopped. Costelli throws it in. There's not much I can do with it. And it is knocked out. The Foothillers will play Steel Canyon one more time this season. Of course, they played Granite Hills four times last year, three in a regular season and then one more in the playoffs. They were able to beat Steel Canyon two to one, but Steel Canyon won the first match over there at their place. And they'll get another one at their place on Friday. Be sure to tune in for that one. Here is Mia Foster turning now. Foster still on a soccer ball. Puts a uh, pass, but that ball was past the goal line. Escalante finds a teammate in the central, and that was uh, Coronado. Bree Cooney tries to get to it, can't do it. Gonzalez. Harley Kennedy. Loves to deke, loves to try to fake the defender who's marking her. Saw evidence of it there. She will want to run it in one direction when the ball is going. And actually turn around and go back. The, the defender thinks she is going in that direction and that is not, that is not what she is doing. Just a heady player. Mia Foster, number nine on the soccer ball is another one. Stays on the soccer ball, even with tremendous pressure. And Sarah Lopez has got those quick feet now. Lopez nearly got to the soccer ball. Didn't do it, but put a lot of effort in trying to get to the soccer ball. And now, trying to get back to it, Sminji, and getting to it there was Dean the last moment. Here's Kennedy now. 
to the near side to Jamie Ganello on senior nine. Stops the soccer ball, sends it into the central and gets a strike. Mia Foster now on the intercept, but Mahala, they win it. Down to central, and Dean, the other senior on senior night, makes another save. Kennedy now sends it in some space, but it's behind Ganello. But Costelli can't keep it in play. And that's the end of the match. And Grossman High is able to come back after being down 1 0 in the first half and beat the Norsemen 2 to 1. Hope you enjoyed this match from Jack Mashon Stadium in El Cajon, the eastern part of the city of San Diego. There'll be a ceremony, the senior night, as talking about these two seniors that they put so much effort, so much will and desire, all the practices and everything and it ends in the regular season tonight. But they're at home, but they will have one more game on the road, and then they will have a postseason. Let's get the stats for you. Lopez scored in the 31st minute, but that was after Riley Wells opened up the game in the 11th minute with a 1-0 lead. It was 1-1 one -one. in the second half. It was Sarah Lopez scoring in the 68th minute for the winning goal. Two goals tonight for the Foothillers. They had a total of 19 shots in total. Nine of them were on target. Nine free kicks in total. Four corner kicks in total. Two fouls, one offside, and eight total saves by the senior on senior night, Ashlyn Dean, in her final home game of the regular season. For the Valhalla Norsemen, they had one yellow card, and that was Cameron Scantlin. In his second half, they had 11 shots. Seven shots for 11 in total in the match. Nine of them were on target. Three free kicks, two corner kicks, five fouls in the match. Two offsides, a far cry from what they did in the first time they played the Foothillers, and six saves by their keeper. So be aware that we have one more regular season game for Grossmont, and that is going to be Friday night against Steel Canyon. Don't forget, it's a one-stop shop. You can get all of our updates of sports every single day. All you got to do is go to... And that is on our Facebook page. All you got to do is go to mrgksports.webs. That's webs.com, soon to be gksports.com. And it's a one-stop shop. Our Instagram page has the senior night, uh, some pictures from senior night here, as well as our Twitter page, the conversation. All you got to do is just go to that website and the first page. It's all right there. And follow and join us in the conversation. And of course, you always want to subscribe to us. That's GK Sports, all in capital letters, in the YouTube search, and subscribe. For Pablo Espinal, I'm Greg K. Porter, saying so long from Senior Night 2019 at Jack Mashon Stadium, where the final score, it was the Foothillers of Grossmont 2, the Valhalla Norseman 1. Bye now. Clear. Ford.
chips it into the central, up into the air, trying to get somebody to strike it. And they still have possession, the Foothillers now, in the area, trying to get another strike onto Into the area, Mayo still going after it, and it is intercepted. Injury, the near side, as it looks like Burton, a little injured, and she will get replaced. Lopez gets it over to Kennedy. Back up field now. Angarola now takes a shot in the suit. Bear with me. Kind of a little bit under the weather. Try to keep that away from me as best I can. Up in the air. Knocked away by Ashlyn Dean. In the central. This is Danger. And the goal. Go, 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 go. One. Sarah Lopez now takes it to the outside and it hits it hard and just missed it. She had to write. Sarah Lopez, she is off Smashing Stadium in El Cajon. Lopez, a shot and a save. She had the 21 goals on the season, and getting to it is the key. Early ball now, and Deek comes off her line, doesn't know where it's at now, has to race back, and a shot at Deek gets back there and makes a save. She tried to give it to Gonzalez now, and Maddie Mayo has to go after it, so does Ashley Dean, but uh, Kira Smenji's going to get to it. Goes over to Cooney, who drives it to the central. Angarola now for Lopez in the central, sends a shot, she'll retrieve it, and put it on the back of the goal! Inside eight minutes left to play in the match. Foilers after a rebound and just able to grab it is Dean. Come out with a draw if they can. And Giovingo. Kennedy now going after the soccer ball. Kennedy still on it. And here the duties. So Culver walk off slowly. Got a bag of ice for her pressure. And Sarah Lopez has got those quick feet now. Lopez nearly got to the soccer ball. Didn't do it, but put a lot of effort in trying to get to the soccer ball. And now, trying to get back to it, Smenji, and getting to it there was Dean. The last moment. And of course, you always want to subscribe to us. That's GK Sports, all in capital letters, in the YouTube search, and subscribe. For Pablo Espinal, I'm Greg K. Porter, saying so long from Senior Night 2019 at Jack Mashon Stadium, where the final score, it was the Foothillers of Grossmont 2, the Valhalla Norsemen 1. Bye now.